Hey guys, it's Paul here from intralifestyle.com. I want to ask you, do you want to live your life with more freedom? Do you want to live on your own terms? See, I'm all about living with greater health, happiness and freedom. And I really believe that all of us can do that and all of us deserve that. So today I've got six tips for you to live and master the freedom lifestyle. Tip number one is get clear on what freedom is going to provide for you. So what is it that you actually want? How do you want to live your life? Do you want more freedom of time to spend it with your family? Do you want freedom of location so you can travel the world? Do you want financial freedom so you can do whatever you want with whoever you want, whenever you want? Whatever freedom means to you, you can do that, but getting clarity on what it will give you is going to help you actually achieve that. Tip number two is understand that your purpose is key. You see, when you know what your purpose is, you can move towards that. You can take actions and design actions that are going to help you achieve that. So you want to spend some time figuring out what do you love? What are you good at? What makes you happy? And what I'll do is I'll put below this video a link. I've created a free mindset mastery toolkit and it's got a bunch of amazing exercises in there that's going to help you get clarity on what you want and it's going to help you to start designing your life so you can implement it today and make massive changes. The third point I want to bring across is consider starting an online business if you haven't already. We live in such a small world today because everything is so close to us. We can get around so easily and we're in this digital world and people are online spending money. You can have customers in multiple countries all over the world and you can make money just from your laptop. I'll give you some examples of ways that you could do that. You could start an online retail store, drop shipping of some kind. You can start an Amazon publishing business. I have one of those myself. You could do online coaching or consulting. So if you're an expert in a specific field like a life coach or a trainer or a relationship coach, you could do something like that. You can even sign up to websites such as Elance and do graphic design work or video editing. There's a bunch of options that you can do. So think of something that would serve you, that would interest you, and look into ways you can do that. That's going to start to create more freedom in your life, even if it just begins as a side hustle around your job or your business. Tip number four is surround yourself with like-minded people. Now, I've mentioned this before many times, but we are a product of the five people we spend the most time with. If you're around like-minded people, people that are starting their own businesses, people that are growing, doing their own thing, they're working on themselves, they're looking to create that freedom, they're going to influence you and you're going to start to create that yourself. So look at your network of people, who you spend time with, and try and make the changes where you need to so that you're surrounded by people that are respecting, that are appreciating, that are supporting your lifestyle. Now it can be difficult you might have to stop spending as much time with certain people. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. And I'm not going to tell you who and who you shouldn't spend your time with. That's up to you. But I would suggest that it's worth considering that you want to be spending your time with like-minded people. Build your network that's going to help you grow. Tip number five is invest in yourself. I really can't get this across enough. But honestly, in my own life, when I got uncomfortable and I invested money that I really didn't want to part way with because I wasn't sure I was going to get a result and I didn't really have it, I spent thousands of dollars investing in myself and I've done it on multiple times now to grow, to learn off someone else who has done what you want to do. When you hire an expert, you're basically having a shortcut to get the result that they have. You could do it as a mentor, you could get someone to guide you in a coaching process or a consultant. But when you invest in yourself, it could even just be books. You're expanding your awareness, you're gaining knowledge, you're learning new things, and you're going to get to where you want to be a lot quicker. That freedom lifestyle is going to happen very soon if you start taking action and investing in yourself and being persistent and, and getting to where you want to be. Because the other thing is when you invest in yourself, you're actually letting other people invest in you because how can you expect someone to buy something from you, a service or whatever it is, if you're not willing to do the same. You have to believe that investing in something to grow yourself is the right way. And it is, and it's definitely going to get you results. You can look at different areas of your life, think about certain things that you want to improve, and then 
find a coach or a mentor in that area and, and take some action. And if you don't have a lot of money, just start off small. You can get yourself a couple of books. I'll put a link below this to a blog post I wrote on three particular books which actually changed my life. So if you want to check them out, you can do. And then tip number six, and I have to put that one in there, is don't neglect your health and fitness. You know, I honestly believe, and I think most people should, in my opinion, really, really value your health because you want to be able to do what you want, when you want, when, with whoever you want. And the only way you can do that is if you're actually healthy. Because if you don't have your health, if you're sick, if you're constantly ill, you have disease or you live in an unhealthy lifestyle, that's going to limit your freedom lifestyle. That's not freedom. Freedom is being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want in a good place and feel happy about it. So don't neglect that. Find time to do some kind of fitness, eat healthy, look after yourself and make it a priority in your life. Because when you're in that healthy place, you feel good, you're eating well, you have lots of energy, all the other things are going to fall into place. They're going to become a lot easier for you. You're going to be able to get more done. Your recovery is going to be better. You're going to feel good. You're going to have more energy. It's going to be amazing. So I hope these tips have helped you. I'd love to know your thoughts in a comment below. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and share it with someone else if you think it might help them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.